five hacks to use Gmail like a boss. Let's do this. Hey guys, and welcome back to the channel where I'm here to help you boost your productivity, influence, and income. We're trying out a new shorter format today, so I'm gonna jump right in to five hacks to use Gmail like a boss. Let's get to it. Gmail hack number one, using themes to identify different accounts. To enable themes, go up to the settings icon, theme, view all, and then you can choose an image or something simpler if you just wanted a plain background. They have lots of options for you right here. I find this most helpful when I am using multiple accounts, say a work and a personal account, and want to ensure that I always send the email from the correct account. The visual reminder of the theme helps me remember which account I'm using. Hack number one, themes to identify different accounts. Gmail hack number two, undo sending an email. If you accidentally click the send button too soon, the default time frame for sending an email or to undo sending an email is five seconds. Notice I click send, my undo option pops up. One, two, three, four, five, and undo goes away. Now, if I wanna make that longer, come up to the settings icon, see all settings right here, undo send. Send cancellation period for up to 30 seconds. Scroll to the bottom, save changes, now, when I send an email, I'll have up to 30 seconds to undo that email. Gmail hack number two, undo send. Gmail hack number three, scheduling an email to send at a specific time. Let's send a test email again, but say I'm burning the midnight oil and don't want my clients to know that I'm responding to their emails at 11 p.m. Right next to send, I can choose the drop down arrow, schedule send, and it will prompt you with some times, or you could choose a specific day and time to send, say the following morning at 8 a.m. This is also helpful if you wanted to be the top email in someone's inbox on a Wednesday at 9 a.m. when they first arrive to work. You could choose the Wednesday, type in 9 a.m., and schedule send. If you want to see your emails that are scheduled, it'll pop up here on the left-hand side, and then if you select it, you can also cancel the send. Again, Gmail hack number three, scheduling an email to send at a specific time. Gmail hack number four is utilizing a template or a canned response in an email rather than typing out the email every time. Again, let's send a test email right here, and this is an invoice to, we'll blank that, and then just from me. But, to save it as a template, click these dot, dot, dots. You see I have the template icon. I could click save draft as template, save as new template, name it as a test. Then I'm gonna close that out. New email, come right here, templates, test. It inserts that text for me. Now, I will say this option is not enabled by default. So to turn it on, come up to the settings icon, see all settings, accounts and import, advanced, templates and make sure that it is enabled. Mine is already enabled, but then you'll have to click save changes at the bottom. Again, Gmail hack number four, using a canned response or a template in an email. And our fifth and final Gmail hack is using self-destruct mode on an email message or requiring a passcode on that message. We'll send a test message again, this time in the bottom row, if I click the lock icon with the timer, that's confidential mode. Let's turn that on. The default expiration is one week, but you can change that. For example, if I don't open this email within one day, I'll see a message that says message expired. You can also require a passcode to view the content. So if I choose SMS passcode, when I click send, it's gonna require me to enter the phone number at which it will text them the passcode. Again, that's Gmail hack number five, self-destruct mode and or requiring a passcode to view an email. Short and sweet, those are my top five Gmail hacks to use Google Mail like a boss. Again, if you have any questions about this, leave it in the comments below, or if you have another software you'd like to know tips and tricks or hacks for, let me know about that as well. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys next week.